Mushroom soup, we are adding about two sticks of butter into our pot to melt. Now we're adding the chopped onions to the melted butter. Adding our mushrooms to our melted butter. Some salt to the sauteed mushrooms and butter. Now we're adding flour to the onions and the butter mixture. Yeah. And it's sort of like making a roux. You want to stir it constantly so you don't get lumps. And you can see the flour becomes almost pea-sized when we do this. Now we're adding cold water gradually to the roux and we're going to stir it constantly so we don't have any lumps in it. And we want to dissolve the flour. Then follow up with more water, but this water has been boiled. And you're almost making a slurry. And if you don't want to use water, you can use chicken broth for additional flavor. Cooking the mixture until it starts coming to a light boil. When water comes to a boil in the soup, add your cream slowly and whisk it. <coughs> Yeah. Cream mixture come to a boil for about five minutes and then you will cover it. Do not add the sauteed cooked mushrooms until the very end so the soup will stay nice and white rather than getting a khaki or brown color to it. When you're ready to serve your mushroom soup, add your sauteed mushrooms and butter to your cream base. You can either serve it this way if you like chunks of mushrooms or you could puree it or use an immersion blender. Some black pepper to your cream of mushroom soup. When you're ready to serve your mushroom soup, add your sauteed mushrooms and butter to your cream base. You can either serve it this way if you like chunks of mushrooms or you could puree it or use an immersion blender if you we want. We have some oil that we have um, heated and we are adding paprika and we're basically infusing the flavor of the paprika into the hot oil. Once this is done, it will be poured onto the mushroom soup. Now we are topping the soup with the paprika and the oil mixture. Interesting. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.